What's up, everybody? Today, I got a little bit more second extinction for you, and I'm really excited to say that I actually managed to get the emergence event, which happens when the stability of a region goes all to hell, and you have to do some pretty serious objectives to help uh, regain control of that sector. Now, of course, I was playing by myself. I got the overmutation event, which tasked me with heading down and destroying the overmutated eggs. And I have to say, for an objective, it was kind of boring. Um, I expected a little bit more. The mutated raptors that I was fighting are a little tougher. They weren't exactly the hardest thing in the world. So I was a little disappointed. The objective itself, by like completing it solo, was not super difficult. The... Difficult thing was, I ended up just running out of ammo and I had to leave the cave, call down a supply drop, and rearm. Otherwise, if you were playing with a squad, like if you had like a second or a third person with you, it you would be able to complete it lightning fast. I mean, you would complete it blazing fast. So, all in all, I think I got kind of the weaker side of the emergence event. It was, eh, it was a boring objective to me. I was hoping for a little bit more. I was hoping to fight maybe a mutated T-Rex or something like that down in the tunnels where I had to go crack the eggs. I didn't get anything special. It was kind of boring uh, in all reality. And, I mean, it's cool that I got a chance to do it. I, we were just talking about it yesterday. We played for, uh, me and my squad played for quite a few matches. We played for most of the day, actually. Um, so, suffice to say, we're, we're pretty happy with the game. But uh, we were we were actually discussing the emergence event because I was reading through kind of just some of the information about the game, and it said you know when stability, like the war effort, kind of goes to crap in an area, like the emergence event happens. Now, I will say I managed to to nab some pretty good stuff. Um, I just kind of went into a free roam, of course, and I feel like I got some decent rewards from it. But there, there's a, there's in terms of rewards, I'll talk about that in just a moment. Because I've got a, a couple of things uh, after playing the game for several hours. Noticed a, noticed a few things. But all in all, um, I hope there's better emergence events. The egg hunt was kind of me. Now, I imagine if you're playing on hard, you know, and squatted up, it would probably be a little tougher and a little bit more interesting. But for me, playing solo on normal, it wasn't, wasn't anything terribly exciting. Now, in terms of rewards for completing certain objectives, now, of course, in free roam and in just, like, the regular missions, you can really rack up rewards if you're doing those side objectives. Now, you know, you can get, like, emotes and stuff, which I think emotes are one of the stupidest things in the world. I honestly hate emotes as a reward. I think they are dumb. <laughs> I've never liked emotes. Um... Because in a game, especially in a game like this, where a lot of the time you're, you can be attacked pretty much constantly. And, you know, an emote's only good if it's actually, like, funny and, you know, like, hey, ha ha ha, this is a funny emote I unlocked. I don't think any of the emotes for this game are particularly good. I think they're just kind of as bare bones as you can get. And I imagine, you know, with monetization, they'll probably add some good ones later, but that's, that's down the, down the road. And with the weapon skins, I found the weapon skins that you can unlock to be basically useless. And there's two reasons for that. One, sometimes this game is incredibly dark and visibility is, well, quite frankly, I'm going to be quite frank, uh, the visibility is shit in this game sometimes. I mean, it's absolute shit. And you are absolutely covered in blood. I, I have, like, I wish that was something you could turn off because it's like, oh, I did this contract to unlock this weapon skin. Well, I can't actually tell what it looks like because I'm so drenched in blood. I wish you could turn that off or they would tone it down a smidge because like, or it would disappear off your character after a little while because it's, it's kind of annoying. I'm someone, I like weapon skins. I like having cool camos and cool skins for my guns and it sucks when you can't actually see it. Or it's like really, you're just like so covered in blood you can't even notice it. So it's like, okay, cool, I guess. So I, I hope they turn tone that down 
a smidge. And in terms of rewards as well, you get various dinosaur parts, research, and stuff like that. So that's all fine. I mean, at the end of a mission, I've gotten tons of materials, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, in terms of like the actual like cosmetic stuff, like there's, there's some adjustments I think the game could make. And in terms of changes I would like to see made to the game, um, as I said, visibility is like the particle effects, like the snow. It's it's frustrating. It is super frustrating having the snow particle effects just in your face 24-7. It's like, I, like, come on. Like, the night, it's already nighttime. I don't need, like, the god rays coming off of the moon are insane. Like, why, like, you can see it in the footage how mental it is and especially when you get into a high uh threat zone and you got like the green fog floating around and stuff it visibility needs to be addressed another one if you caught my video yesterday i was talking about the dinosaurs have like no footstep sounds like i understand raptors having no footstep sounds but like i've turned around and found like the Triceratops or the Ankylosaurus, the bull or the flatback, if you're going by the terms of the game, standing right behind me. And I wasn't, I was just standing there reloading. And I, how did I not hear them? Like, I've got my volume cranked up and I, they were just standing behind me. There was no thudding. There was no this. There was no that. Now, maybe I could feel the vibrations through the controller if I had my vibration turned on. But the vibration through my controller, I thought my controller was going to break. When I was playing yesterday, I had to turn the vibration off because it's so high. So I wish they would tone that down a smidge as well. And on my wish list of things that I think could really use some tuning up, the stun, like the knockdown from the flatbacks. The flatbacks themselves, I'm just going to go off on kind of a rant here. The flatbacks when you're fighting by yourself, are horribly designed. And I mean horribly designed. I fought one for nearly 10 minutes earlier because I was using cluster grenades. I couldn't get the grenades to flip it over. And whenever it would start, like, teetering and you had to, like, kind of finish, like, get, like, a couple hits on it to flip it over, I couldn't complete that because it just tips... It just lands on all four of its feet, like, right away. So... When you're fighting by yourself and you're trying to fight a flat pack, I often leave them. I just walk away. But of course that's impossible because they do that little spinny attack. And the hit radius on that is mental. Absolutely mental. I've been hit before it even completed its animation. It's like, what the hell is going on here? Who thought this was a good balancing thing? Like, if you if you have like shock grenades. The shock grenades work fine at tipping them over, but trying to, like, if you don't have any grenades and you have no ordnance, tipping a flat back over is, it's so hard because, like, oh, you got to hit its stomach at the precise time and the dodge doesn't help because it's hit, it's, the hitbox is massive and it can hit you without actually finishing its animation. It's like, no, let's tone that down. I think the flat back needs that toned down. I actually got into a fight with two of the shock raptors. And it was, yet again, I spent like two minutes with them just stunning me back and forth. One would stun me, I would get up, the other one would stun me. And it was like, this is madness. They weren't even like killing me, they were just stunning me back and forth. They were my last two enemies in a fight. And I was like, this is freaking daft, dude. Like, can we not do that? Um, and that leads me just to this next point, that the game is not very well designed for solo players in that regard. Um... Yes, it's a squad-based game. You should be playing with a squad. Like, I understand that. But there's also the option to play solo. So, it, 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 the game is... The difference is, is the game is extremely frustrating to play solo sometimes. But when I was playing with my friends yesterday, it was a blast. Some of the enemies that are considered annoying were elementary. Like, we could kill them in seconds. So, I think there could be a little bit of, you know... Ban rebalancing with a couple of the the stunny monsters, the stunny dinosaurs, because that is that is something that when you're when you're playing solo is a is a hassle. Otherwise, I think the game is pretty well balanced. I think the game's a lot of fun. Um, the hills need to be nerfed. 
I'm just, I'm just joking around. Some of the steep hills. It looks like you can get up some of the steep hills and then you just slide back down. Uh, so I, I would like to see a slight change of that to be able to run up some more of the hills. Like I know there's a lot of verticality up and down, up and down, up and down, but I, I would like to see a slight change to the hills. But otherwise, you know, the guns all feel good. You know, I've I've unlocked quite a few. I've used pretty much everything. Uh, you'll be seeing the revolver in today's gameplay, which is super good. Um, you know, and I've been working on, you know, unlocking mods and stuff. And all the weapons feel good. I mean, I've been I've been pretty impressed with the weapons. The assault rifle I was a little underwhelmed with just because I felt like it's just kind of an assault rifle. And it's, it has no special characteristics that make it any more interesting than anything else. So other than that, like, it feels good. The objectives are fun. There's a lot to do. And, you know, there's, there's, even when you're just doing a regular mission, there's a lot to keep you busy. And we've noticed, well, we noticed yesterday when we were playing that when you go out of your way to do objectives, you're going to end up racking up rewards and XP and all kinds of cool stuff. So, uh, in terms of balancing, you know, with the weapons and such, I would like to see the minigun carry more, like, have a bigger mag option. Like, I wish, you know, that. There's, I also got the perk where it's supposed to reload faster on an empty magazine, and it doesn't, it does not feel any faster, so that should probably be addressed as well. Some of the perks don't feel like they do that much in reality. I actually, in terms of weapons, I would rather almost avoid perks and just go for the flat performance upgrades. You know, get my damage up, get my handling up. Because, you know, I got the uh, the perk for the, the semi-automatic handgun for the burst fire while aiming. And that was so inconsistent. Sometimes it would be a slow burst and sometimes it would just be blazing fast. I didn't get it. I actually took it off my gun. I didn't think it was very good. Um, if you need a fully automatic sidearm, just take the SMG, honestly. But that's just me. Those are just some of my thoughts on weapons and weapon balancing. Otherwise, I think they're all brilliant. They all really encompass their strengths and weaknesses. Now, something I would like to see that I think would be kind of cool, because, I mean, in terms of variety of weapons... It, the game is pretty bare bones an idea I had that sounds kind of cool tell me if you agree with me down in the comments but I would like to see light and heavy variants of the weapons you know what I'm saying like a heavy variant will you know of course you're gonna have you're gonna take reduced handling characteristics but you're gonna do more damage maybe it carries slightly less ammo and the light variant is going to do slightly less damage but it's gonna be the opposite side of that so I think that'd be kind of interesting. You know, a light weapon, you know, you got faster reload speed and a heavy weapon. It might carry more ammo in its magazine, so it has a slightly slower reload speed. I just thought that it would be cool, and it would also add more uh, variety to the weapons. Because I think that if they kind of just keep going the generic minigun, machine gun, assault rifle route, the, the weapons will get boring after a period of time. Even with all the different perks and stuff like that, there's only so many perks that cause kind of variations to the weapon. So I'd like to see them add, you know, a little bit more to the variants. And if you caught my video yesterday, using Rosie, she's one of my favorite characters to use. Her left bumper, her electric grid thing needs to be adjusted. I, it should be a one tap thing i should be able to either tap the bumper and just plop those things down or it should be a one tap and it should drop both of them in a pre-designated zone like because i it is a useless thing to use in the middle of a fight and it's just it, it could be so much more usable if it was faster to deploy you know, I understand it's meant to be used as like a defensive thing, but sometimes you're in the middle of combat, you know, and it sucks that she isn't, she, you, one of your abilities, you have to pre-plan the attack when most people don't have to do that. 
So I'd like to see that uh, adjusted in some sort of way. Anyways, I've been flapping my gums for a little while here. I think I got everything out. I don't know. You guys tell me. Leave a like. Leave a comment. Subscribe for more. Make sure to come back. I'm really enjoying this game. I'm definitely going to be uploading some more of it. And hopefully um, we get to see some more cool stuff soon. As I said, it's on the Xbox Game Pass right now. So you can try it for absolutely free. I would recommend giving it a shot because this game has a really good fundamental structure. I think this game's got a lot of good going for it. And I think in terms of playability and replayability, there's a lot going on. And I say go support the dev, download the game, give it a shot. And, you know, hopefully... We can see what this game turns into in the future. Because if they're using dinosaurs, there's a lot of dinosaurs they can add to this game. And it, things can get real crazy. Real crazy. So, here's hoping. Here's looking to a good future on a game that I believe has a lot of potential. Alright, everybody. Hope you all have a wonderful day. And I hope to catch you in the next video.